welcome. Let's see what your message is for today. As you know, I don't get paid for this, so I would love for you to um, subscribe. I just feel like, you know, this is part of my fate and destiny. So you have here the teacher, okay? You would do well to read more and otherwise learn about those who have worked diligently to attain what you seek and succeed. So lots about reading, about biographies possibly, um, you know, in situations that will bring you success based on our reading, you know, uh, based on those biographies, based on people that what that do the same thing that you want to do or, or um, currently doing, okay? So most definitely. And then wonderful. Sometimes being too cautious is just an excuse for being afraid to take risks and move forward. Don't use this as an excuse to miss out on something amazing. So get to it. Don't be scared. If you're procrastinating, if you're self-sabotaging, that becomes a, a problem, okay? Um, in Because it means that you're just self-sabotaging, all right? Wonderful. Sometimes being, okay, I already said that one. Faith, uh, loving and then letting go is not only one of the most challenging things we can do, it's also the bravest. Take the big, big, take big, deep breaths and know this is right. So you're letting go of something. I feel like you've already let go of this for a while back. So I think you're doing well. It's time to challenge the situation and say, this is not good enough. Stand tall and take a stand. It's time to show the world just how damned tough you are. Okay. So really moving forward, really, um, you know, working on yourself in terms of, um, you know, prosperity that you have to, uh, you know, that that prosperity is coming in so really working on yourself in terms of like reading up or you know acquiring something like a degree right or a certification of some sort in order for you to move forward be mindful that um you know you're not stalling and self-sabotaging okay and then we have palmistry so you might be a super intuitive you know high priestess you know a witch an oracle uh clairvoyant claircognizant uh, fortune teller fortune and tarot collective destiny the palm lines from birth tell your sacred palmistry listen to the notes of your intuition so most definitely following major major intuition and new doors coming open and then anthony's call if you have been praying for like a husband or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a wife it's coming okay and if you're catholic you know they say that saint anthony is a one of our um you know um saints and so if you put him upside down i'm just telling you what if you put him upside down and pray to him the novena um you know and pray to him for you know your wife or your your wife or your husband, okay, or a boyfriend or girlfriend that's going to lead to marriage, then um, he will grant it, all right? So there is something coming in. Anthony's call, in thanks of my spirit, safe and sound, all things that are lost can be found, okay? Also, if you've lost certain things, I, um, they're coming back. I also feel that this can be possibly a person, all right, that you've been with in the past before that might be coming back, all right? But most definitely a husband or a wife, <clears throat> or an intimate, you know, committed relationship is coming in for you, okay? Some of you also might be getting certified to become a teacher, so congratulations on that. Um, as you all know, I'm a retired high school principal of like whatever, like, I don't know, 25 years, or maybe it's 27 or 30, which really dates me, but it is a very humble profession, and it is such an extraordinary, like very stable profession, even though right now the times are really, really bad, but um, it's just absolutely absolutely a beautiful profession and it more than provided for my family so if you're wanting to do that go right on ahead it was something incredibly fulfilling for me and I was able to build a huge very profitable uh, as well as a very successful career um, I will persist my will is strong so another will there so lots of will coming in and then I will not remain stuck I choose to change so this is about really changing okay um and moving forward and you know if you feel stuck you know start moving along start start doing things that you never did before or that you haven't in such a long time you know start like um you know decluttering and changing things around in your house but also start walking or exercising 20 minutes is a mile in walking you know just a little exercise 20 minutes or a whole half hour you can do it 
with weights in your house you know i think the weights are like 10 bucks in walmart or something like that so get moving dare take a risk and fly absolutely some of you might be getting a pilot's license as well and then persevere another one of persevering okay um leave no stone unturned most definitely and then you have here be present use the hours don't count them so use them all right and fulfill the time in your life fully take full advantage of it and enjoy make time for the little things absolutely so i think that you're coming into a very profitable uh era of your of your existence and your life and i think that you know with um you know guidance uh spiritual guidance as well as your whoever you believe in you know god source energy um you know um, your saints if you believe in that right uh, will most definitely provide. So this is, your heart says, enjoy your unique beauty and adorn yourself with love. So this is about self-love. You might not be uh, liking the way you look or liking where you're at, but I think you're going to really be, um, you know, uh, seeing different perspective in that. And you dwell in your mind uh, day and night. Shape it with purity, love, and gratitude. So be mindful of not self-sabotaging and the negative self-talk that you, um, you know, that you're telling yourself because that can be detrimental. So as I tell my students, stop if you have negative self-talk, uh, acknowledge what it is, and then think of something really good that you have, you know, whatever, as simple or as complex as it is, okay? Uh, and if you're trying, if you're trying to work on something, your health or whatever, say that, you know, uh, please give me the discipline to, you know, to keep on, you know, doing what I need to get done in order to get healthy or whatever, you know, so most definitely love and light. Hope this helped you.